Yes, we're back again. Two videos, one day, smashing it out. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, you're probably not going to see these in one day. I'll probably upload them a couple days apart once I've edited them and all that kind of stuff. Uh, anyway, in my last video, I took apart all of this stuff and the Speedo is still not working. I've had this mechanism out. So today, I'm basically going to deduce whether or not it's the cable that's causing me all the issues. So what I'm going to do is, there's nothing between that bottom mechanism and this top part where it feeds into the actual speedo itself. So I'm going to take all of this off. Uh, that's only like a couple of screws that are hidden kind of down here. You can't really see them at the minute, but I'm going to whip them off. Take this head part off, and I'm going to see what's going on in the back of this to see maybe because it's all like plastic mechanisms and stuff like that, or like the cable is metal but it feeds into a plastic socket. Uh, sometimes these tend to snap, so I'm going to pull it apart and see what happens there. Um, meanwhile, I might roll it up and down the driveway a couple of times just to see if that wobble's still there. And I'll let you know what happens there because I've lined this up now. So it looks quite, 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 quite. If I line it up like that, it looks quite in line. Oh god, it looks horrible on camera. Hmm. Well, looking at it in real life, it looks very much in line, but on camera, it must be like, because I'm using a wide angle, it looks kind of woo. But if I, maybe if I do that, it'll, it'll, yeah, there you go. There, it looks quite nice and in line. So I'm going to roll it up and down the driveway and see how it feels, see if it still kind of wobbles. Um. Yeah, bear with, and we'll pull the head off and see what's going on up here and fix this speedo. Okay, so, that's the head off. As you can see, once again, superbly put together. Four screws, two on that bottom bit there, and then there's two not on that side. Oh, I'll just show you there. They come through there through the back and then they go into that so there's four in total all around that corner and then all you do is basically pull it like this and lift it up and it pops out of that clip and these two holes but this one at the moment isn't sitting in this hole for some reason I think what I might do it looks like it's been bent downwards a bit so I might try and warm it up a bit and lift it I don't know or maybe just add something to there so you can catch it again but anyway that has given me some kind of access if I can dig through all these wires to that there that's my speedo cable and that goes through to here so what I'm going to probably try and do is move all of this stuff out of the way get to it somehow I might just pull the whole face off the other side I don't know yet we'll see what direction we go but plan A is just to move all this stuff out of the way and get right in there unscrew that and see what's going on so uh, yeah bear with me Alright, so a lot just went on. <laughs> I was supposed to, as you know, just nip in there and have a look, but it didn't give me the best access. So, I pulled off the whole other face. That's just hanging by the wires at the minute. And as you can see in here, I'm going to clean all that up. This is all going to get a clean. I might give it a touch of paint just whilst I'm here 
just to stop it getting any worse. Uh, but more importantly, I took this off. I gave this a spin round just to see if it was the, the needle itself getting stuck. And it weren't because once I put it back together and span the front wheel round again, no life whatsoever. So, I removed the whole thing. As you can see there, that's looking a bit cruddy and horrible. So I'm gonna clean all that up. I don't know if this speedo cable is even rotating as it should be. Certainly does not feel like it wants to go anywhere. But I'm also going to test that out, and if that's not moving, I'm going to start spraying, I don't know, maybe my DP60 in there. I'll start spraying that in, and just kind of spinning the front wheel, and seeing if it loosens up at all. And we'll see if that makes any difference. So, once we come back, everything should be looking nice and clean. Come on, focus. There we are. Everything should be looking nice and clean. See you in a sec. All right, so we're back again. And what I've figured out through doing this um, is the Speedo cable is indeed knackered. Uh, yeah, because what I've done is I took it off down this end and there's like a little kind of flat head sort of, well, there's a slot you can put a flat head into you can spin that to see if the top of the speedo cable moves. I'm pretty sure at least anyway. Uh, and I did that with no movement. Uh, that was just spinning at the bottom end. So I put a load of DP60 down it just, just in case it was like stuck in one place. Um, and I also tried grabbing the other end with a pair of pliers and spinning that round. And it has given me no luck because I'm spinning it around one end and it's not spinning the other so pretty sure somewhere down the line it's snapped so what I'm gonna do is basically leave it like this for now I'm gonna order a new speedo cable no idea what ones I order uh, I'll probably just end up with some kind of you know universal one I reckon it will fit just gotta make sure I get the right length and yeah i'll come back to it i think when that turns up and i'll probably get a few more goodies whilst i'm at it might get some bits for that beast out there i want to work on the performance a bit because i did just put in a amazon special kind of variator and roller kit so it's not the best performer um so i might get some better stuff for that get a new throttle cable for this and probably come back at that point and kind of see how things shape up. So thank you very much once again for watching. Let's come around to make the light on your side a bit. As always, remember to like and subscribe. Oh, okay, yeah, that don't help at all. <laughs> There's that monster. There's this one. Yeah, do share it with your friends and everything. Um, oh, on the subject of looking for parts, Georgie Boy, if you're watching this, which I know you probably are because you're a geezer, um, yeah, if you or any of your moped buddies know where I can get some performance parts, I'm looking for, like, uprated stuff, your Molossi, your Polini, your Stage 6, you know, cool kid stuff. I want to throw some of that on this because it's unorthodox, so I'm going to do that. Uh, yeah, or anyone else, if you do know a good place where I can get like decent performance parts shipped to my door in the UK, do let me know, because I want to start throwing some good bits on these. They deserve it, after all. They're cool little mopeds. Um, but besides that, yeah, thanks very much. Like, comment, subscribe, share with your pals, and I'll see you in the next one. Keep doing bits.